YouTubers, Joe Kersey here on uh, uh, <laughs> on July fifth, two thousand eighteen, uh, Thursday at seventeen thirty in the afternoon Eastern Time. Uh, seeing as how it's July fifth, uh, those of you who are interested in some of these, you know weird dramas and things that I, I kind of get into. You might want to uh, check out, uh, it, well, it was a stage play and then it was dramatized, it was put on TV. Uh, it's called The Fifth of July. The Fifth of July, I don't know who wrote it, I can't remember who wrote it. And I'm not going to go back and try to look it up. Uh, but uh, the star of it, uh, or the, the in the in the TV uh, version of it at any rate, maybe maybe in the stage play as well, uh, was Richard Thomas, uh, who you know the guy with the mole on his cheek that played in uh, played John Boy in the Waltons. Oh, I just spilled stuff on me. Oh, that's great. Now let's see if I can try to tidy that up a bit. Yeah, 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 that's great, isn't it? You know, you get... Oh, well. It's been one of these afternoons. Well, actually, we, you know, we had a we had a nice rain shower here. Uh, well, not nice. It was a heavy rain shower. It was a rain shower, nonetheless, uh, uh, about 20 minutes ago. Uh, now it's cleared off. Such as like it was raining. It was raining around here this morning, or we didn't get any. I mean, you can see it on the radar. You know that kind of thing. Okay, so um, I seem to become becalmed. Well. Meanwhile, what I've been doing today is I've been watching the rest of Season 2 of Fargo. See, uh, Fargo Year 2, okay. Uh, you know, take note of the little panels here, uh, you know, like, like, like the guy grinding up the body in the meat grinder, uh, and then... Uh, this sort of execution thing, and uh, and then of course my favorite one is that the opening segment is uh, they have the uh, 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 car with uh, the body you know hanging out of the windshield after the woman hit it. <laughs> uh, Fargo won. Uh, the TV series closely, more or less, followed the movie Fargo. Uh, Fargo Two is uh, goes off. Well, it's a, it goes back about oh, 15, 20 years. Uh, you know, in Fargo One, you hear all these references to oh, it's like Sioux Falls again. It's like Sioux Falls again. Um, but Here's what we, you know, here's where we find out what happened at Sioux Falls, but it's about these two, you know, Midwest mob groups, one of which is kind of like a close-knit, well, <laughs> not close-knit, but genetic family that lives in a compound together. That doesn't mean they're close-knit. I suppose much like the Kennedys up there in Hyannisport. Anyway, uh, I think the body count in Fargo 2 is far higher than the body count in Fargo 1, and far, not very varied. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, how many, how, many, how many ways can you kill a person, like, when you really actually go to kill them? Not just hurt, hurt them, like, kill them. I mean, uh, uh, shooting them in the head seems to be the primary way they dispatch people in Fargo too. 
uh, there's 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 some throat slitting, you know, with big major knives. Okay, that's always good. Well, you know, of course, lots of blood. Blood all over. Um, there's a certain amount of uh, political correctness. Uh, commentary on, you know, the emerging women's rights music movement there in the 70s, you know, and empowerment and all this kind of stuff. And uh, there's this one great scene where the one guy who's just about get ready, get, getting ready, he's about ready to get killed, uh, he says to this guy, you know, he's got him pretty much, you know, at his mercy, he says, you really need to get your woman under control. I can assure you, I can hear him clicking off right now. I can assure you that there, there's, there's any number of guys that were watching this thing that said, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, in this case, he really did need to get this individual under control. Boy, she was annoying as all get out. No, the movie did not afford equal time to the women who have had men when the way them like all get out. That wasn't the point of the movie, was it? <laughs> uh, Fargo 3's out there on Couch Tuner. Um, I've managed to watch all of it, and um, it's not... Well, I have to rewatch it. I have to... I have yet to rewatch it, so maybe. But in terms of the body count, there's not nearly the body count as in either of these first two movies. But Fargo 2 takes the cake on body count, particularly the shootout there at the motel, you know, the motor motel, and, uh, well, and part, part of that Sioux Falls. <laughs> All right. Now, here we are, you know, it's been a very quiescent 4th of July weekend for me, which it generally is. Um... Oh, my friend Tony Pincham uh, from Workshop uh, said that there's uh, their 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 workshop uh, gay pride stuff going on this Saturday, and he says his plan is to go down to it uh, around noon and stay until he has to go down to work in the evening. He says he's no point in him going home, uh, so he's just going to go to work from there. He says, of course, he can't drink. He said he might be able to have one beer over the course of an afternoon, which I would assume he could certainly have one beer in the course of an afternoon. Uh, so he's going to do a lot of videoing, which I think would be fun to see. Uh, he, he's been talking about doing this the last couple of years, uh, but just didn't work out that he could do it. So, you know, it looks like he might be able to do it this, this time. So that'll be fun to see. Hope that works out for him. And for us. So we can see it. Uh, my other friend, Tony, uh, my other Tony friend in Seattle, he's, uh, I guess, his shipping container is arriving on the 11th, which would be next Wednesday. Yeah, next Wednesday. Uh, and then uh, he and Jim are driving down to meet it in Tucson. Uh, meanwhile, they've got a good friend of theirs, uh, Lee Trader, staying with them. And she's always fun. She's great fun. Uh, and uh, I, mean, I, knew, I, I knew her from Columbus. You know, not a lot, but I knew her. I knew, you know, I was aware of, I mean, I've, I've been at parties where Lee Frater was there, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, 
and then, uh, well, let's see. Oh, I finished. Uh, I finished Kingsley Amos's novel *Girl 20, published by New York Review of Books. Uh, very much in the same uh, publishing format as the uh, one I showed you the other day. And uh, I, I'm, I'm now embarked on his collected short stories. Uh, so I'll be interested to see uh, how I respond, I'm, or how long I stick with it, because you know I tend to, you know, I've got, I've got some Reformation stuff going that I might go back to. Um, I've been sleeping pretty well. I mean. Um, Maybe not all the way through the night, but not with, you know, having to, I don't have to sit up and be in pain all night, so that's good. Uh, so, yeah, so things are going pretty well. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a more, yeah, you know, well, there's always that thing about wanting to be with somebody. I got these strange messages on Grinder, you know, and uh, well, they're not strange. I mean, I'm glad, you know, that's great. Somebody takes an interest, but I mean, how much of this is catfishing and how much of this is real? Uh, you know, when they say it's like you know, 1,769 miles away or 870 miles away, I mean, I think that's not particularly realistic. Uh, oh, I just want to chat. Well, yeah, I mean, like. Who the fuck wants to chat on these little tiny ass fucking things? You know, I'll email you back and forth till the cows come home, but none of this little shit on the phone. Come on, I won't anyway. And these guys with their thumbs, give me that, give me a break about the thumb shit. <laughs> Well, I, that's about it, really, today. It's been very reasonable. Well, you know, fortunately, we didn't have any damage. I mean, we've had, a, had some really tiny limbs down, tiny little branchy things down. Uh, well, there were, a couple, there were a couple little, like, inch, well, finger-thick finger things the other day down, uh, which I now take down. I just, threw down. I just threw down by the end of the driveway on the state, on the state land. Screw them! Screw the state land! Those of you who have watched Legends of the Fall will know what I'm talking about. Okay, well, I think that's going to be about it. So. I could free a shoot. I could free associate here until the. I was going to actually show you some of these messages. I'm not going to do that. Don't say bye-bye, YouTube.